everybody, and I have a lot to be thankful for. I'm thankful for tequila. <laughs> the other night I had a nightmare, though, and in my nightmare, I was having an argument with a sentient tequila bottle about whether or not I'm working too hard. <laughs> the whole time we were arguing, my wives were at the front door arguing with police officers Why? who wanted to arrest me. <laughs> the charge? Alcohol abuse. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so is this a nightmare because the police were wanting to arrest me? No, in fact, it wasn't even a nightmare because I'm arguing with a talking bottle of tequila. It was a nightmare because that bottle was Jose Cuervo. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I mean, Jose Cuervo was my hard liquor of choice in my so-called drinking days, also known as college, <laughs> otherwise known as seven years of my life, I am never getting back. <laughs> but I loved it, because tequila makes you invincible. <laughs> Uh, I'm told everyone has a tequila story, um, but if I had a tequila story, I drank too much of it too frequently, and now I don't recall my tequila story. <laughs> <laughs> the closest I get is knowing that uh, my wife Kaylee's pet name for me is tequila. <laughs> tequila makes her clothes fall off. Oh, <laughs> oh no! And also, because she's a country music fan and I'm not, she still is delighted by the fact it took me like six, seven years to figure out that's the title of a hit country western song. <laughs> <laughs> but life is beautiful, and I have a lot to be thankful for. And I'm thankful for my sister. Uh, because of her, I'm now the proud uncle of a four-year-old nephew named Ace and a two-year-old niece named Sparky. And if you're wondering, yes, those are indeed nicknames. Uh, Ace is short for firstborn son, and Sparky is short for fire starter. <laughs> I kid, actually, it's short for spark plug, because that kid is always firing. <laughs> but I remember when I was a little kid, my parents used to give my sister a lot of grief. They'd say, child, you're not old enough to understand karma, but if you don't start behaving better, you're going to grow up to have a daughter who's just as wild and crazy as you are. <laughs> Folks, I'm happy to say, that day has arrived. <laughs> so my sister and her husband work entirely too hard to send the kids to the most expensive daycare available to them. And at this daycare, which is so high end, uh, they actually teach the infants and the toddlers to use American Sign Language before they're even old enough to talk. And in fact, if you're unfamiliar, the sign for thank you is your hand moving from your mouth to your belly, uh, like you're full of gratitude. And my niece, she's two years old, so Sparky doesn't quite have the hang of this yet. When she wants to say thank you, she simply blows you a kiss. Aww. It's as adorable as it sounds. <laughs> Unfortunately, she recently adopted a, a new habit, shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> so now anytime a cashier tries to stop Sparky from, you know, taking a candy bar, Sparky simply looks at the cashier, Blows and kisses and makes <laughs> It's as adorable as it sounds. <laughs> My sister and brother, on the other hand, are living on pins and needles. Uh, every time they see their little girl blow a kiss to a stranger, the first thing they do is yell, Stop! Stop right there! Show us your hands! What's in your hands? <laughs> to Sparky's other new habit. She's currently started dropping her diaper, peeing on things, and as she points to them, giggles and says, mine, mine. <laughs> they have no clue where she learned this habit. They're not pets, 
They saw him let the kids watch television. I'm just certain she wanted to come up classmates at the ridiculously expensive daycare. <laughs> <laughs> now, my sister and her husband don't believe in spanking their kids, and I can get with that. I don't know all about beating on the little ones. Um, but they have no qualms about threatening to spank. Right? Now, when they threaten to spank my nephew, Ace, I kid you not, he falls butt first to the floor, raises his hands like he's surrendering to the FBI, and says, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 I'm sorry, let's talk about this. <laughs> This distinguishes him from his little sister, um, because whenever they threaten to spank Sparky, she looks at him for a moment, turns her diaper to him, spanks herself three times, and says, what you got? <laughs> so... Remember me telling you that my parents used to give my sister a hard time uh, about uh, karma? Now they give me a hard time about karma. My mom keeps telling me, if you don't stop doing the adventures of Ace and Sparky bit, you're going to end up having kids that are just as wild and just as good for some crazy stories. Well, I can say with a smile that that day is coming. Um, because my uh, bonus wife, Jessica, is three months pregnant today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hopefully we've got a little miracle on the way. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. Life really is beautiful, and we all have a lot to be thankful for.